Hi, Ron from Clarity. I've had a number of people ask me for just a quick tour of the storefront of what the Clarity out-of-the-box solution looks like. So this is a quick installation, um, one of the most recent versions. I had the developers throw it up on a server for me and then uh, I imported a spreadsheet that had a bunch of products that I built in a spreadsheet. So there's zero styling, zero time spent on this site whatsoever. It's got a total of about 30 minutes invested in the whole thing. There's not a lot here, so you'll uh, get a good idea of what comes out of the box. Uh, most of the additional pages, uh, these pages are created by the CMS we're attached to. Now, happen to be attached to DNN. Uh, we're a .NET platform. DNN is a .NET based platform, so we use DNN for most of our websites. Although, if you wanted to use cores, um, this could be WordPress or Drupal or some other um, non .NET based, PHP based CMS. So I'm going to click on products. This is the mega menu that comes out of the box. You can have any number of categories and subcategories. I'm going to go to electronics and show all electronics products. Again, all of these products were imported from a spreadsheet. Uh, you've got uh, all your basic stuff. You've got your grid view. You've got your list view, right, that changes the view to, to lists. Come back to my grid. You can change the number of pictures on a page. You can change the sort, price ascending, price descending, whatever you want. You've also got your pagination. I'm actually going to go in and hit this Acer laptop. This is kind of a default view of a product. So in my particular case, I had a bunch of different images in the gallery. So I can hover over any of these. I can actually click on one of them and I can either click on the arrow over here to the right, which I'm doing, or I could actually just hover over and switch the thumbnail view down here. And so I could go through all the zoomed in pictures. The flat pricing providers, the default ones selected, although we have three different pricing models for multi-tiered pricing and pricing rules, the default flat price has four different prices. So this happens to be the retail price, and then this is the sale price. And so this is kind of how out of the box it would be displayed, although you can display it any way you want. Over here, we have different lists. So I can add it to the compare list. I can add it to my favorites. I could add it to a wish list, which is like a wedding registry. Shopping lists are a little bit different. Shopping lists are kind of neat because shopping lists allow me to have recurring lists that I might use each month. So for example, I could have an office supply list where I've got all my paper and all my pens and my ink cartridge replacements, all that kind of stuff that I order recurringly every month. And then I can go into those shopping lists and do that and then request a quote. This is the long description, and you can see when I built the long description, I added a couple graphics in here so it looks nice. So long description, here's some more of the attributes, and then down here are the associated products. Associated products lists, you can have n number of lists, so you could have a list that are accessories, upsells, cross-sells, competitive products, whatever. You can have any number of lists and they can show up anywhere you want. By default, this happens to be where our related products list is shown. So that very quickly is what a product looks like and how it's set up. Then we'll go to the backend dashboard. The backend dashboard would be like logging into Amazon to go look at your order. So this is kind of our dashboard. By default, we show the most recent orders, invoices, quotes, and samples requested. You can open up your account settings, go through your profile, your address book, go into your wallet, you can add your credit cards. We're PCI compliant, so it doesn't actually store the credit card information. The SSL certificate secures the transmission of this credit card data to the PCI provider. Then what we store is we store the name, so this would be Ron's company P card, and then I would store the last four digits in the expiration date. So we do not store the card number, we do not store the CCV, even if by chance your database for some reason got compromised on the back end, you would not put those at risk. Sales orders, you can go and look at any sales orders and the status of your order. Returns, invoices, quotes, downloads. Here's my wish list. I want to be a famous photographer, so I got a bunch of camera gear on here. My favorites, things that I like to buy, stuff for my car. So I got a whole bunch of car stuff in here. Uh, we have in stock alert. So this book happened to be out of stock, so I tagged it. When it comes in stock, it's going to send an email notification to me. I pop right here and I can add that to cart. 
so I can clear the notify if I don't want that. And then here's the shopping list where I can have multiple different lists. So I wanted to buy a computer for my daughter Jacqueline so I can see that I did that. But on this list I could have the computer, the RAM, the cables, the case, the backpack, all the other things that I want in that shopping list I could have had in that list if I wanted or another list so I can become a CIA operative. Here are my CIA training guides parts one, two, and three. We also have a messaging subsystem. So this is very similar to logging into eBay and you want to contact the seller for a question. This is it right here. So you can actually compose emails and send emails. The other half of this subsystem is a chat tool. So we have a chat tool. If you decide you want to offer chat to your clients, you could have your agent log into the chat and then they could actually send a live chat request. If they're not logged into the chat, if it's after hours, whatever, then they would actually send a message. Finally, the last thing to look at would be the checkout cart. So the checkout cart obviously shows you kind of a thumbnail view and skew and name of your product, the price, whether it's on sale or not. The other thing here, I can see that I forgot the bumper for my mower. So I could come down here, type in John, and it'll automatically go through and show me all the different things that have John in it. So I could come down here very quickly. There's my bumper, put the quantity to one, add to cart, and now my bumper's in there and now I can go ahead and check out. So this is another quick way for people that want to reorder rapidly and they already know some part of the product name or SKU to just come in and type that in there, enter a quantity and add that to the cart and then check out. That's a quick tour of the Clarity e-commerce storefront. Any part of that can be customized. Thanks for watching.